Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Everett, Washington, with a uh, softard named Eddie Banks, who attempts to intimidate the judge. But you know what? In the end, I really don't think it's going to work out for him because, well, that kind of thing is illegal. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And what we should do is start a review hearing probably in a couple of months. I think that we need to look at very much space on the time frame and waiting for the evaluation. So um, can you just suggest it? Like a Monday, nine or ten, we can do a few months, like at November 6th at night. So Mr. Banks, would November 6th at 9 a.m. work for you for your next hearing? No, I would like to give notice of fraud on the court and serve documents to all parties involved. Well, no shit. Oh, really? Uh, what is your evidence of fraud, Mr. Softard? Is it uh, something that you pulled out of your ass this morning? Because if that's the case, it really isn't worth shit anyway. Not coming out of you. Okay, so I don't know what that means because that's in our, not in our normal procedure. So you're okay. welcome to do that if you need to. But okay, I'm so you're... You about your next court date. Is that number six for you? No, I don't consent to any further court date. Oh, right. so well, if you don't consent to any court proceedings, then why the hell are you here to begin with? Shouldn't you be off at some softard meeting, drinking lead paint, making yourself dumber and dumber by each uh, sip that you take? Yeah, that stuff's not that good for you. You need to stop that. I mean, it's a very bad habit. November 6th, and if you don't appear on November 6th, I'm going to issue for your arrest, okay? Alright, so I set that date. I sent you the order, and we'll make sure to get a Ma'am, I need your uh, name again, please. Can talk about sign of court. Sir, you represent the city? Yes. May I have your uh, name, please? Sir, you're going to have to move along because I have other cases that I need to call. So you can ask those questions. Sir, need to ask may them. I have your name, please? Mr. Banks. Mr. Banks. Sir. Mr. Banks. Sir. May I have your name, please? Sir. Sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to you at the moment. Mr. Banks, I need you to step back, okay? All right. Uh, all this information is public right there. You can get it. Absolutely. Here. I'm giving you uh, judicial notice. Hmm. You need to hand it to the clerk. You need to hand it to the clerk. Judicial notice. You no What's back. your name, ma'am? You need to stand back. Sir, you need to stand back. Emily? Yes. Last name, back. Emily? You need to go back. All right. I'm going to need you to move so I can call the next case. So this is the thing, you force me to come here, and then you no, limit, you and then you won't, you, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, ma'am. So everything that I filed in the case, the everything that I filed in this case is being ignored. Yeah. You wanna play with my life, take away my ability <laughs> to right. make a living with fraudulent proceedings. It's unacceptable. Okay, you smooth brain soft hard. Uh, who deemed them to be fraudulent proceedings? You, the one who's on trial here? Well, because that's not exactly how that works, you nitwit. You don't declare anything that uh, you're on trial for to be fraudulent. That is determined through the whole process. But me thinks that the whole thing is just, well, way above your head. Too complex for you to understand anyway. Which is why you really need to stop drinking that lead paint and acting like a Real dumbass in the court. I need to exit my courtroom. It's all in this. Do you be believe you're above arrest? Um, I need you to leave my courtroom. Do you believe you're above arrest? I need you to leave my courtroom. Do you believe you're above the law? Don't keep approaching me. Don't keep approaching me. I'm going to ask you kindly to please leave the courtroom now, okay? This I is my court. I don't want this to get nasty. I want you to leave. Yeah, because I want him to come arrest you. you. I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? It's fine. I will quash your warrant. You need to leave, please. I'm asking you nicely. Just please leave. Respect you the paperwork, lady. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. All right. Respect and honor. That's what it is. I've given you judicial notice. If I have to come up in here with men myself to take custody of you, I will. Because you will not use the people's power to step on my life and the people of, the, of this county, in this city. <laughs> Believe that.
Yeah, what arrest powers do you have? That's my question. And what makes you think that you can get away with the arresting anybody uh, from a regular citizen all the way up to a judge without you being taken into custody by the lawful authorities? Can you answer that one for me? And not only that, how are you not going to be prosecuted should you execute such an ill-advised action, my friend? Well, my soft, tart, smooth, brain moronic friend. Why do you idiots need to film your crimes? I mean, trying to intimidate a judge in front of the whole world for the whole world to see and to put onto YouTube? You are one of the specialist people around, aren't you? You're so special. So congratulations, you dumbass softard. You done got yourself in a quite a bind right there, and I'm sure... Yeah, that they won't be so lenient on you next time, dude. So have fun with that. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?